up everyone and um today we'll be reviewing a game it's a very strategic uh game and um it caught my eyes because i'm a big fan of stronghold and uh their whole series as well as um as well as uh, age of empire and games like those so like rts real-time strategy games and um this game just caught my eyes it was really nice i liked it it's called Th Theo Town, Building on Living City. And um, I have a couple here, but I'll just make a new one for you guys. It's always small. Um, I usually play middle for game mode, but for you guys, let's just do sta sandbox to just let you know how, how the game actually is. Up here on the top left corner, we have all these functions. Um, the speed of the game, map, enable it, disable it, and then we have your economic or economy of how many businesses you have, how many homes, and industrial stuff. What's nice about this game is that there is um happiness, which is technically a rating of how your city is, uh, if your uh, citizens are happy or not. And the rating, you always start out with 50, and in Stronghold, you start out with 100. So there's a difference in that, but it's not very hard to reach um, 100 in this game. That's what I think. And um, this game is an alpha, so you will probably get a lot of issues and stuff. I haven't really encountered a lot, but there is a uh, somewhat lag. I am uh, running this on a Nexus 5, but... Uh, if you have a better device, like a Samsung Galaxy S6 or anything like that, it will probably run it better. But um, habitants is obviously how many citizens you have in your city, and you start out with unlimited money in sandbox mode. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bump this up a little bit. I always do a start out with the street, and the nice feature on this is that everything just goes transparent. You can enable it, disable it, do whatever you want. But um, yeah, which is a nice feature. And it cuts the trees automatically. You don't have to pay anything or do anything like that. Like in uh, Clash of Clans or Castle Clash where you have to tap on each tree and get rid of it. And in Stronghold you have to cut it down or do whatever. But um, on here you just, I mean it just automatically cuts it down. But uh, yeah. These three um, buttons here uh, indicate residence, business, and industrial. The uh, residence is obviously the one that looks like a house. It will create houses and then habitants. Uh, zero will go up numbers. So that's done. The electricity sign, obviously that means that it needs electricity. So let's build a basic, cheap, $200 wind turbine. And... They have more buildings. I don't usually go with the coal plant. I just go with the solar power. I think it's really good. Uh, but let's just do wind turbine. Let's put it right here. And then let's take a couple wires. It's going to ask for water. It's going to say it needs water. So let's take a... Water pump. I'll put it right here. And um, it's going to say that, I mean, it's going to say that it needs electricity. So let's go right here. And like a water line or a pipe. Take it down there. And most of all the buildings need a road. So let's put a road right here. Take it down there for, for now. But. As you can see, I took the pipe, yet it's not doing anything. It's absolutely doing nothing. Because there's a reason to it. This, the, the building, has to be connected to water. So let's just connect it. There we go. Now, it has water flowing throughout this little town. So let's just connect that. Oh yeah, and one more thing, the dirt road, uh, vehicles will travel slower, and this road, the paved road, vehicles will travel faster. Get some basic things that a normal town would have, such as a little hospital clinic. And then, 
My schools, I'm going to do that later, but now let's just stick with this. A church, it's a basically a town hall. Let's put that like right there in this, this side. A park will um, increase happiness or rating and the habitants will love it. So let's just put a small one now. So right here. It's perfect. And Oh yeah, forgot the water. Let's put that right there. And the good thing is that the pipe doesn't have to be in every single building. One pipe can cover a great amount of area. So that's a really good thing. This little gift box is um, just random things, basically, like a statue, a building that looks like the Empire State Building, this castle, which um, doesn't really do much. Like none of, none of these three buildings don't really do much, except for this one, which will increase uh, happiness, but not a big thing. Education will also increase happiness. Most of the buildings just increase happiness. Um, let's put a fire department like right here. The green area that it shows, that just shows um, how much it's covering. Like, more far out you'll go, it will cover less area and it will become like orangish color. So, yeah, this is just a basic town. This is what you can start out with. But down here... It says I have one business. Well, I don't have any businesses, but the doctor's office acts as a business. And the uh, water pump acts as a business. But let's make some shops. Let's put a three, three industrial building. I haven't really used the fire, the fire station yet. I don't know why it hasn't been useful yet where the police station, I think it's just there as just to show that it's actually there. I like, I don't know. It's, it's like an extra maybe. I haven't used it yet, so it might be useful in a future update. That's one of the things. But this is a pretty basic town and a small map. The bigger map will obviously have more space, but let's just go to a bigger map now. And these are all random names. I didn't name them. They just randomly generate. This is another small town I made. I made uh, the castle over here. The, oh, yeah, the castle needs a lot of power, by the way, so I had to put two solar panels there separately. You know, this was in sandbox. I usually just play sandbox. Um, I'm not into the missions and stuff yet. But yeah, this is pretty basic. And then, this is a really big one. Uh, let me load it up. Okay, looks small, but there we go. Hey, yeah, it's pretty big. I've seen people make bigger ones, trust me. I've seen much, much larger, vast uh, cities. Yeah. Oh yeah, the little date down here. Um, you start at two thousand and one, and it goes all the way up to twenty fifteen. Actually, I'm not sure if it goes beyond that, but yeah, it does go up to twenty fifteen. Um, this is another one I made. I kind of used up the whole map. But yeah, this game is called Theo Town. If you're into RTS games and stuff, I would highly um. I would highly recommend this game to RTS players and strategic players and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is a game and it's free and probably after alpha it might cost money, 99 cents, maybe a dollar or two dollars. Maybe they have a pro version or something. But um, another cool thing about this game is that if you have a tablet or something, you can put this on really big and you can use up all the space. Or if you have a really bad poopy phone, you can put it to low or... Uh, really low, but then you will start seeing pixels and stuff, which kind of sucks. And then normal, this is normal, and I keep this at uh, just a second. I keep the shader on colorful. It just makes it more bright and vibrant. That's why I just keep it on colorful. Everything's the same here, except for that one. I gotta turn that on. 
and everything's the same. So yeah, and one more thing. Nice thing is that you can enable and disable apps, but you can um I mean, you have to, well, you don't have to, but you can rec you, it tells you to recommend this game to someone as a uh to a friend or someone, but um yeah, so you can do that. I did recommend this to a lot of people. I like this game, so it's worthy of pressing that. So, yeah. That's it. Please subscribe and like. And uh, I'll see you in my next video.